As father to two boys and an engineer, I look for ways to develop my kids' imagination. So I began developing a toy that would combine creativity and technology. That's where Folograms comes in. We invented a smart projector that makes learning to draw fun and simple. Your child will become a true sketch wizard with our unique step-by-step -step system. Easy to use controls allow kids to choose from hundreds of drawings. And they can use Folograms to learn to write numbers and letters too. Kids can also capture any image they like and instantly project it on paper with the Folograms app. Hi, my name is Shady, father of two and founder of Flycatcher. We invented Folograms, which is a unique device that connects to an app and teaches our kids how to draw and write. Kickstarter, we need your help. We spent the last year building and testing Folograms our engineering team and manufacturing partners already. With your funding, we can start production. So, if your parents like us that want kids to grow up with creativity, then beg us and share this project with your friends. Thank you. Oh, is it flying in the mobile too? Do you want to make a bird and put it in, in, this, in this mobile? How do you make one? I think that orange stuff actually makes the bird. Right, press it. Here it comes. Oh, oh. You can pull it off. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Here, whenever you want to take it off. Look that. 3D printing is one of these technologies that can transform the way we make things. What we want to do is take that technology and bring it to a whole new generation of users. And to us that means you know, kids who are inherently creative and love to make things with their own hands. We decided we should make a fun looking 3D printer that's colorful and non-intimidating. So we put a clear shell around it and then we colored all the parts so that you could see which parts are holding the bearings and where the motors are and how the gears are turning. All this is part of making Printier fun and educational along with a really great tool to build your own parts. We've been operating full time for just about one year and we're really excited about what we've produced. We're making every Printier here in our garage. We're using a, a laser cutter, uh, 3D printers, and drill presses to make the custom parts that we need. And then we're assembling everything ourselves by hand. Printier is different than other 3D printers because it was designed from the ground up with kids and K-12 education in mind. You don't need to know CAD, you don't have to have a dedicated computer in order to use Printier. All you need to do is have an iPad and Wi-Fi in your house or in your school and you can design things and within minutes be making them yourselves. When we go to demos, kids are drawn to our product because they can see that this is meant for them. It's colorful, it's playful, but it's also doing something that's practically magic in their minds. I've been really inspired by Kickstarter because I've seen so many ideas go from just a concept to a physical product that people use every day. We're trying to make Printier as accessible as possible, but part of accessibility is affordability. And for us to keep our costs down, we need to be able to order all of our components in bulk so that we can bring this technology to a whole new generation of people. Thanks for your support. Hey, I'm JP, and this is Pixel Play. Pixel Play takes your smartphone and turns it into a fun kids' camera. I knew immediately it was a hit. As soon as my son saw the package, he couldn't wait to get it out, try it. He knew exactly what to do. It was easy to use, and was ready to take it. And over 50% of families have an old smartphone sitting somewhere unused in the home. I love the idea that my kids would be into photography more and you know, to see some of the equipment that we have. Something that other moms and I talk a lot about is the same time how much we try to limit our children from being in front of the TV or the couch or the iPad. And so I love that this brings a device outside. The Pixel Play app will encourage active play while kids learn photography. Kids will have fun taking photos, adding picture frames, and making silly faces. And 
the included activities will spark creativity. I love the look. I love that it looks like a camera. Uh, I enjoy the fact that it's less vulnerable than them you know, holding a phone several feet above concrete. That it's protective. That you can uh, put a strap on it. And I think now we know what to do with the old phone. Pixel Play works with both Apple and Android products. It's got a durable design with rubber handles, a touch-sensitive screen so you can still access your phone, a working shutter button so you can take photos while your phone is protected, as well as working knobs and buttons, just like the real thing. I've worked in the toy business for over 15 years. I left my job at a big toy company to develop Pixel Play. I've done a number of prototypes. Parents love it. I've even got orders from a few retailers, but I need your help to help fulfill the minimum order quantity from my factory. So please, back this project. Check out our rewards. We've got a bunch of great stuff. Let's help get all those unused smartphones out of your old junk drawers and into the hands of kids so they can be active, creative, and have fun with Pixel Play. Pixel Play, turn your smartphone into a fun kid's camera. Hi, my name is Lily. Hi, Lily. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How far is the moon? The moon is about 250,000 miles That's from a Earth's lot. average. What is 2 plus 2? 4. Awesome job, Grayson. What is the speed of light? The speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. Wow. Can you count to 6? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Super. <laughs> Tell me a knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Letters. Letters who? Letters him. It is freezing outside. <laughs> My favorite color is orange. Okay, I'll try to remember. Your favorite color is orange. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. <laughs> Tell me a story. How about we make a story together? Elemental Path is really ambitious. We want to change the way kids learn by improving the way they play. To do that, we're creating an internet-connected smart toy. It started with the IBM Watson competition and understanding what was the best way to use the platform. We noticed a really big gap in the way toys engage with children. It should go out to you and play, not just respond to you. And all the pieces just started kind of coming together. Like, this is what it's going to sound like. This is what it's going to say. We were chasing the product. It, it kind of told us where to go. For us, it's all about keeping children engaged with the technology because that's where the benefit comes from. Smart toys, as the current generation goes, they're not very smart. They'll present your child with information and you hope that something sticks. Cognitoys gives that personalized, customized experience to the child. We're bringing another level to it. We're either really onto something or that we're just absolutely crazy. But the dinosaur is really a companion. It doesn't go away when a parent takes their tablet or smartphone with them. A toy is really for the child. Having a toy that can hold intelligent conversations about the surrounding and also understand a child's personality preferences and then blend in uh, learning exercises, exactly what makes this so powerful. Cognitories can actually uh, assess where the child is and give them age-appropriate content based on that child. There's a very different engagement for a child that's four with a Cognitoy uh, than a child that's seven. It's fun. It's not fun. There's not a child that's going to play with it or work with it. And this is fun, where the child can respond back to it as a friend. Eventually, the, uh, the toy will continue to develop this uh, capacity to reason about the, the child's life and it's constantly evolving, it's constantly iterating. If we find that kids are playing with this toy in a certain way, we can move with them. We have a level 
and degree of maneuverability that you know classical toys just don't have. We live and breathe the startup life. We move fast. Every single team member really has contributed to make this happen and we've moved rapidly to get to where we are right now and then we're not going to stop. Our vision really is to get our technology into most toys so that toys are not only affordable uh, and fun but educational. You have to have a strong team of people and this group has a strong team and has a vision beyond the initial technology that they have. So we're taking the best of what's available and then plugged Watson into it as far as being the brain and we made something uh, just, just really, really awesome. And we give quantifiable results via the parent panel, so there's no smoke and mirrors. This gives parents access to insights of the communication between the toy and the child, uh, questions the child asks, and also interests, but also a deeper dive into analytics around the child and their learning behavior. So we're going to Kickstarter now, right before we launch our product to market, to really find out who our supporters are, to get market validation, to get feedback on the product and how we're building it and really have a community build a product. Because we're really building a product for the consumers that has benefit for millions of children that's affordable, that reaches millions, and not just a few. So thank you, Kickstarter. Please help us in building our vision and changing the way kids learn and play. Did we raise the money? Yeah. <laughs> it's done. Yeah.